Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the day. I finally got the 2023 Phoenix 921 Elite ready to go. Um, we're about to, to go on Lake Chickamauga, put the first two hours of break in on this boat. And I figured, you know, every single year I get a new boat in new electronics and I have to set up my units on the boat to, you know, my specifications i'm pretty picky as far as like the way i set up my my graphs so i figured i'd go through the process for my lawrence units for you today just to show you how i set these units up how i like them and uh and all that now i already started kind of working on the the layout and making sure that i've got things the way i want but i'm going to kind of you know rewind and start from the very very beginning for you so let's sit down here at the helm We'll start with the console. So obviously the very first thing we're gonna do is we've got our, our HDS 12 um, Pros here, um, installed by BassBoatElectronics.com, turned them on. I'm gonna press accept here. Okay, so as you can see, I've already kind of uh, you know set up my screens here, but the first thing that I wanna do with my, my Lorentz graphs is pick the the screens that I want to use on a regular basis, you know, which ones I need to, to put on the presets and all that. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So as you can see, I've already got one set up. This is one of two screens that I like to have on the presets on my, my Lorantz here at the console. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to pages. All right. So once you go to pages here, so we're going to create our own little customized screen. I've already made the ones that I like, but I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and press this plus button here. Okay. And this brings you to this screen right here and you just kind of click and drag. And we're going to do, uh, we're going to do the, the first one is going to have the mapping. We're going to do 2d sonar. We're going to do side scan and then we're going to do down scan. Now that is not the, the 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 screen that I like um, you know generally I want to put down scan so it's it covers the entire bottom half of the of the screen and then I want all three of these to be on the top because I need that extra wide view for the for the side scan because the side scan you know that'll give me way more detail uh, as opposed to just having it in one of these smaller little boxes so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on here we're gonna go down to the 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 format that we like right here okay so from here what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to go ahead and you know shuffle these around the way we want and that's pretty much how I like it I like having the map uh, I like having 2d sonar I like having the down scan all on the top and then side scan on the bottom and so from there we're gonna press save it brings us to our screen that we've got here all right, so from here, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to put our overlay data on. Uh, first, I want to make sure that, that this is kind of the spread that I want. So, uh, you know, I might go here and change adjust the splits here. Uh, so I might, you know, right now I, I like how much I have of the, the side scan. Um, now, I'm, you, can, you can adjust it like that or however you like, but I kind of like it just kind of how it is so I'm gonna go ahead and save that the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put on our overlay so we're gonna say edit overlay go to menu we're gonna go add okay so the first thing I'm gonna add is I want to add our um, speed over ground okay so that's gonna be our speed on this page the next one that we're gonna do is we're gonna do sonar okay we're gonna do depth and water temperature. Those are two that are, are very important. Um, and then we are gonna do time. Time is super important for tournament fishing. I'm gonna choose time right here, okay? So those are the main ones. And uh, you know, we're also gonna do the, where is it again? I forget where we put it, other supply voltage so we can keep an eye on the the voltage so you see that so we're going to exit out of here so we got everything right here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and slide this wherever we want i'm going to get this out of the way and maybe put it hmm 
where do we want to put this we're going to put it right over here okay all right and we might um, configure that we're going to make it extra small put it right there okay and then the next one we're going to go to is the in-depth hole uh, so this is the or the depth in hole. That's the in hole transducer, which we're going to end up changing this because the in hole transducer isn't going to get. Or sorry, we're going to keep the the in hole depth, but we're going to change the water temperature and make sure that it's being drawn not from the through hole transducer, but the one that is on the back. Um, but so the the depth, we're going to go ahead and put that sucker right there. I think that small is okay. For that um, water temperature let's go ahead and put that right here um, I think the size is perfectly fine for that position we're actually gonna go ahead and get rid of the position um, so we're gonna go ahead and delete that one but speed on the ground we're gonna keep it right there uh, and I think I'll keep it this, the, the same size. Time is the one that I really want to increase the size. So we're gonna go to medium on that for this screen right here. And I think we'll put it right there. Okay. All right, so now we've got everything the way we want on this page. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. All right. And that looks pretty good to me. And we also are gonna add our Navionics maps in just a minute too. I forgot about doing that first thing. All right, so what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna go ahead and press one of these preset buttons here. I'm gonna hold it. All right, so here what we're gonna do is, um, you know, this will start off blank where it just says, please select. I've, obviously, I've already selected some. What we're gonna do for this first one, because that, that screen that I was just on, that one I'm gonna put as my first preset. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna go to favorites. Now favorites, remember when we were on that, the, the uh, you know, create your own page, uh, if you count up the number of, of, you know, preset pages that you've created and that Lawrence already gave you, um, whatever number the pages that, um, that, you know, starting at the top, counting down, uh, whatever number that page is, is what they're talking about here. That took me a little bit to figure out. So just to show you, just so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the seventh slide or the seventh screen is what we're going to put as our preset. So go down here to favorite. Uh, let's do seven. All right. So now when you press your preset, it brings you to that page. All right. So the next one we're going to do is this th this one right here which i've already made we're gonna use this one right here oh not that one not that one i don't like that one at all um we're actually gonna do this one so this is our our second one so the only thing i need to do here that i haven't done already is the um is the overlay so what i'm gonna do is, and and as you can see here like originally when because this is one of the the preset options having the map and 2d sonar originally it was like this so it was like 50 50. i like having just a kind of a sliver of the 2d sonar and a pretty big screen so this is the screen that i like to use when i'm on plane so like if i'm idling around a point or something like that i'm going to have this screen just so i can see my map and all my sonar technology and then when i hit on go on plane all i want to know is the depth in and the to see the map and so i go to this one and and, uh, and so that's the reasoning behind those two different screens. These are really the only two screens that I need on this, uh, on this, this unit. Um, I will sometimes go to one that has a map, 2D sonar and down scan, just like this. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and edit the overlay on this. So speed on ground, we already have. Let's go ahead and configure that. Let's make it medium. Let's make it you know, fairly large. Uh, the next one we're gonna do is we're going to add, um, let's go ahead and do time. All right, so now we got time. And what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and configure this. You want it big, you don't wanna miss the time. Um, so I'm gonna do, put that and I'm probably gonna put it, eh, probably 
top there. I'm gonna move this though. I'm gonna move this to like right there. Um, move that up there. That looks about good to me. Um, other than that, the only other thing that I'm gonna add to the list here is I'm gonna go ahead and do the um, uh, water temperature, which I guess is already on there. I didn't see it. And we're gonna put that kind of down here. We're gonna configure it, make it bigger, and there we go. So make sure that you save it. I can't tell you how many times I've backed out and without saving, but now we are good to go. It is, uh, it is, it has all the overlays that I like to see on here. Voltage, voltage, we forgot about voltage. So let's go back, edit overlay, add, um, other, all right, now we've got voltage. Let's go ahead and put that down in the corner. It's not super important all the time. We also have the charge system over here, which shows us voltage too. So, but this at least at a glance, you know, you can see it uh, perfectly fine there. So that's how I like to set up my console unit. The only other thing that I will say is that, sorry, wrong one. Um, so like, uh, as far as the um, sonar frequency, it, it was at 200 when I first got it. At the console, I like to have 83 because it gives you a wider cone angle, so wider coverage. On the bow, I use 200 kilohertz, which uh, is a little bit narrower of a cone. And uh, and so that on the bow, it, it lets you kind of like isolate. See you, man. At the bow, it kind of lets you, uh, you know, focus on the fish that are just right below the boat with the 200 kilohertz and that narrower beam. But that is the console. Let's go ahead and dial in the bow. I can't remember. I, I think that I've already done the bow a little bit too. All right, so let's go on here. Not now. Yeah, so this is how I've got my, my bow set up. Um, we still have to add the the overlays but in general I like having a big map so this one zoomed in so I can see you know everything that I'm doing like if I've got a, a, a waypoint out here that I'm fishing I want everything zoomed in so I can see all the little details but I want one that's like zoomed out a little bit so we still need to put our Navionics cards in here, but zoomed out so I can actually see like if there's a, if I'm running pockets or something like that, I can see what the next pocket looks like without having to get down here and zoom out and zoom back in. So this is what I like to have. I like to have two maps, one zoomed in, one zoomed out, and a 2D sonar on the front. Let's go ahead and do our overlay. On this one, we're gonna add we don't need all that stuff. Um, let's go ahead and do vessel. Uh, nope, sorry, not vessel. I keep on wanting to do that. So we're gonna go to sonar first. We're gonna add the water temperature and the depth. Okay, and we're also going to add time. We definitely want time. Time is super important. Don't need date. We're gonna do other magnetic or supply voltage. All right, so supply voltage, let's go ahead and just put down here. Uh, time, we are going to make big. We're gonna configure that one to large, put it down there. Um, the depth, we're gonna put right here. We're gonna leave that as is temperature we're gonna put this down here we're already at 200 kilohertz so that's good <clears throat> um, the depth I think that's that's pretty much good we're gonna save this um, and the only other thing we're gonna do is make sure that we are running the the uh, all the the data off of the trolling motor but anyways, that is how I set up my screens on my, my Lowrance. Now we've just got to add our Navionics cards, which are super critical. So uh, let's go ahead and get the Navionics cards and put those babies in.
All right, so now that we've got the, the, the bow and the console units the way I like with the screens and all the overlay, next we have to add our Navionics card. And so I'm gonna show you how to, to go ahead and put that in and get sonar charts turned on. So let's go ahead and do that. Got the micro SD card in our hand right here. We're gonna put it right there. Uh, I think that's the way. There we go. Click it in there and you should see it right away like we did. That was quick. All right, so now we've got the Navionics mapping, but this is not the, the regular, uh, or this is not the, the uh, mapping that we really, really want. We want to get the sonar chart data, which is one foot contours. Uh, and so what we're gonna do is we're going to, to make sure that our map is highlighted. We're gonna go to menu. We're going to go to more options, chart options, and then we're going to go to sonar chart and make sure that that is highlighted. That will turn on sonar charts, which will make uh, make uh, the the mapping a lot more detailed. Uh, here, it wasn't as big of a change, but like if you were to go out, let's actually put it on the bigger screen. I'll make it easier. But if you were to go out here, okay, we go to to chart options, and you turn off sonar chart, it would change a little bit. Some lakes are are a lot. Di more, uh, different and some are, are um, not too much different but you can see you get more detail there so turn on sonar charts that's definitely something that I keep it on uh, I pretty much always have sonar charts on and the only other things that I will end up doing I don't have it for for this uh, particular lake but I might have overlay features and that's all through the satellite overlay so I might have like say relief shading or something like that on my card for a specific lake that'll be in the satellite overlay um, where you can turn that on but anyways guys that is how I set up my graphs to you know get exactly what I want from them the views that I like and and all that I think it's it's super important to to uh, be able to use those presets to have the screens that you need at a very very quick um, you know touch and uh, so yeah setting it up the way you like it is a beautiful thing thank you guys for watching make sure you like share subscribe if you have any questions uh drop a comment below and i'm gonna see you guys out on the water let's break this puppy in